In this ROS2 camera tutorial, I will show you how to use the camera in Gazebo and view images in Arvis. I'll be using this Tessabot simulation that I built previously in this video, so go ahead and check it out. I'll be going over the camera model, talk about the ROS camera sensor in the URDF file, go over how to view camera and images in Gazebo, and view camera images in Arvis. By the end of this video, we will see how we could simulate the Tesla bot's POV in the simulation that we can see in this video right here. Now let's talk about the camera model. So here is the camera pinhole model. At the very bottom here, we have what's called the camera center. So the camera center has a corner frame attached to it. We have the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. So the x-axis here is pointing towards the object that it's looking at. So here we have an object here. This is in the world space. And then it gets projected to the image plane in a 2D view. So this right here, the green plane, is called the image plane. And this plane is defined by the width and the height. And we also have what's called the field of view. So this field of view is here is going to be the angle that describes how much of the view that it's looking at. And then also we'll have different concepts later that we'll be using, which is the clipping plane. We have a near and far clipping plane, which will describe um, the region of image that we're actually looking at and extracting in our images. Now let's take a look at the ROS camera sensor URDF file. So the general structure of the part that you need to add to your URDF file is this region here on the left. So this is a general structure. And what you have is the camera reference here. So this is going to be the name of your link. And in our case, we're calling that head. So that's what you can see right here. We have this head. And then here we have the sensor name camera and type. So that's going to be the same. And then we have a pose, X, Y, Z, R, X, R, Y, R, Z. So we'll explain how we get this value here. And then visualize, we set to true. Update rate is some rate that you want. And then here we have the field of view in radians. So here we're using one. And then we have the format R8G8B8. So this is going to be the format for the RGB. And then you could change the different ones, but most likely you'll be using this one to begin with. And then we also have the width in pixels and the height in pixels. So here we're using 640 and 480. And then here we also have to find the near and far plane in meters. So we've defined it here as 0 0.05 and 1 for the far. So here we have the plugin name here. It's going to be camera controller. And the file name is going to be the libgazeboroscamera.so. And lastly, we have the frame name, which is going to be the name of your joints. And here we're using world to head. So that's all you need to add in your URDF file to actually get everything up and running. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how we derive the actual corner frames. So if we take a look here, we have what's called our world frame. So our world frame, we have the X, Y, Z axis. So the first thing that we're going to do is look at our camera pose. This is our initial pose. So you can see here we have... Um, our x-axis right here. So this x-axis is the initial pose of our camera, and then later we're going to be modifying it. So if we scroll down, we see the first transform that we do is going to be this right here. So here in our transform, what we have is we have a rotation about the z-axis, which will allow the camera to be viewing in the same direction as the robot. And then we have a z translation upwards, so that's this part. This is the translation, and this was the rotation. So we have the translation that will bring it up to the eye level. So that's the main point of that. Okay, so if we scroll down one more time, we have our camera pose two. So what we're doing here is doing an additional transformation. So this transformation here is a rotation about the y-axis of the camera, and this will allow us to view down so that we can see the hand. So that's what this component here is, so 0 0.7. So now what we want to do is go ahead and view the camera and image in Gazebo. So what you want to do is run these steps here in one terminal. So we'll pretty much start the gazebo.launch file that we went over previously in our Tesla bot simulation. 
And then we're going to run in a second terminal our joint publisher that will make the robot actually move its arm. So let's go ahead and see that in action. So I went ahead and ran that, and you can see that here we have the arm, robot arm moving up and down, doing the bicep curls, and you can see it's POV here of seeing its own arms moving in this image plane down near the floor. So now we're going to go ahead and view the camera images in Arvis. So what you need to do first is make sure you have the joint state publisher in your launch file. Otherwise, some of the joints won't show up. The fixed joints don't need it, just only the Revolut. So you want to add this section here into your launch file, which is the joint state publisher node. So have that in there, and then it'll run the node to actually publish the joints over to Arvis. So in the third terminal, what you want is to start up Arvis. You could do the configuration if you have a configuration set up already, but I'll show you how to set up everything manually. So to do that, you just need to run the Arvis2 command. And then here we also have the sudo to install the joint state publisher if you haven't already. So we're going to go ahead and run Arvis2 here. So if we start up Arvis2, um, you could see it start up, starts up blank, and then what you want to do is add the different things here. So you can see um, we could add in our robot here. Our robot won't be moving; it's just going to be the model because we're not actually um, we're not actually connecting the simulation here. But if you wanted to see the robot, you go ahead and choose the description topic and choose robot description here, and you can see our robot. And then if you want to see the image, you could go ahead and add in the image here. So here, if we scroll down, you could see um, here we have the image. And inside of here, you want to make sure you've selected the right uh, topic here. So here, you could choose in topic. There's a drop down. It's going to be camera image raw. And if we select that, you can see down here is going to be our image. You can see the image, the same scene that we saw in Gazebo. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.